Well, this is odd. I would have thought we'd have seen something by now. Oh no, here they come! Bandit 6 combined arms with you for the PlayStation VR. Let's begin! First up, let's take a look at the gameplay. Bandit 6 Combined Arms is a shooting gallery game that comes with two games. The first one is called Bandit 6. In this one you will be high in the sky taking down jets and missiles that are coming towards you. The controls are very simple. You aim by moving your head and looking at your target. To fire you press R2. Shooting down far away enemies will take some getting used to, as you have to take into consideration how long your bullet will take to travel to its target. There is a tutorial and 29 missions for you to beat. You get different types of mission objectives to complete including shooting down a set number of planes, time limit stages and survival stages. They add a bit of variety, but really you will be doing the exact same thing in each one and that's shooting down the enemies. New enemies are introduced over time and may start flying in different patterns, making it harder for you to hit them. To help you take them down you can shoot power ups that fall from friendly planes. These include a hellfire mode which is basically rapid fire and another one where you can slow down time. There is quite a lot of power ups overall and you can upgrade them too along with your weapons and armour on your plane. To upgrade them you need currency that you obtain for completing each mission. You also get ranked at the end of each mission. You will want to try and get all 3 medals because they go towards unlocking new missions. It's a fun shooting gallery overall, but the second game improves on the gameplay in every way. Bandit 6 Salvo has quite a few new features. Before each mission you are tasked with placing turrets on a battlefield. You don't just control one gun in this game, you control four, and can use whichever one you want at any time. Each of them fire differently. When you first start in Salvo, the amount of enemies coming at you can be quite overwhelming. To succeed, you will have to learn what turrets work best on each enemy, and will also have to keep an eye on transport vehicles, because if they land they will add more enemies to the battlefield. You also fight in different locations that come with different mission objectives. In one you will be on a beach defending your base, and in another you will be on a boat, and will have to blow up enemy buildings. Once again you can get upgrades, but they work a little different in this game. On each turret you are able to place down two upgrades for it before you start each mission. It's great having a bit more strategy in this game and it kept me more entertained and involved more so than the last game. It does have fewer missions though, which is a bit of a shame. Salvo has a tutorial and 11 missions. In both games the sense of progression is fantastic and each have very solid gameplay. Now let's take a look at how immersed you are in these two visually different games. Bandit 6 goes for a realistic style. The skies can change from level to level. It tries to make the stages a bit different from one another. It's not amazing though, and it's nowhere near the same feeling of how your mood changes in other VR games, such as Eagle Flight. Salvo is presented a lot better overall. It has a cartoon style and you can tell this game was made after Bandit 6. The menus are a lot more polished and the variety of locations all look great. The depth is ok in Bandit 6. When you are in the sky, you do get a sense of height when you look down to see your feet dangling, but the textures on the ground below you are not the best, and they did remind me that I was playing a game. You do get a better sense of depth in Salvo, as there are maps of buildings that are quite close to you. The most memorable moments are when you destroy planes and they come crashing down just a few metres away from you. I'll admit, I did jump a couple of times. The sound effects are good, but they didn't really blow me away. To be honest, they don't really need to be amazing for an arcade shooter like this. Now let's take a look at the setup and what controllers the game supports. This game is best played in a seated position. I was sat just under 2 meters away from the camera. The head tracking is perfect in this game and it really has to be considering where you are looking is where you are aiming for guns. I never got motion sickness in neither of the games. Even when you switch guns in salvo, it was a bit confusing where I was in the environment at first but it never made me feel ill. This game is played with a DualShock controller, the move controllers are not supported. Now let's take a look at the length of the game, and what trophies come with it. Bandit 6 took me just under 2 hours to complete the final mission, 
and Bandit 6 Salvo took me just under an hour and a half to complete. Your game time could vary depending on what you choose to upgrade first in each game. After beating the final missions on both games, going back and getting all three stars on each level shouldn't add much gameplay time, as your weapon should be quite powerful, resulting in the enemies being destroyed a lot quicker and making the levels very easy to complete. This will be good news for trophy hunters, as there is a platinum that can be grabbed here. In total there are 27 trophies that can be obtained. There is 10 bronze, 10 silver, 6 gold and 1 platinum. After completing the final mission on both games, I had 8 trophies left to achieve. They mainly included upgrading certain guns and power-ups, as well as collecting all the 3 stars on each mission. None of the remaining trophies are difficult, and the platinum will be very easy to get. And now it's time for the verdict. When I first saw the trailers for this game, I didn't think I'd really enjoy it. When I first started playing Bandit 6, I was hooked. Something that appears so simple when viewed in 2D can really be intensified in VR. I must say though, around 3 quarters of the way in, it was starting to outstay its welcome, and was becoming quite repetitive. However, Salvo hooked me the whole time, thanks to its variety and missions. I played through the whole game in one sitting. I was having so much fun that I was quite disappointed when it ended. If you like shooting galleries and a sense of progression, you should check this game out. The second game also has some strategy included that helps to spice things up. I would recommend playing Bandit 6 first then moving on to Bandit 6 Salvo. The increase in quality is great and I really did think that I'd been on a journey with the developers as they was getting better at making VR experiences. Overall I had a great time with these couple of games. The gameplay is simple and the sense of progression should keep you coming back for more even if it's only for a couple of stages at a time. I give Bandit 6 Combined Arms a score of... 8 out of 10! Oh no, here they come! Don't be so nosy! If you enjoyed this review, please give us a thumbs up. These videos take an incredibly long time to make, and a quick click on the thumb really does help us.